Hi, this is Timothy from actingconsult.com.ng. In today's tutorial, I am going to teach you how to convert a drawing to PDF in Revit. Sometimes, after you have produced your drawing, you need to convert it to PDF so that you will be able to send it to your client or print it in a computer business center because the computer business center you may be printing may not have Revit in their system and so it is necessary for you to convert it to PDF so that you will be able to print it now I have already placed these drawings on the panel and I want to convert it to PDF. As you can see, they are already serial, although there are some pages that are not included in this drawing. You can see the cover page, the site layout plan, the ground floor plan, first floor plan, Typical paint floor, approach view, right side view, rear view, and so on. Uh, you can see that the section A is supposed to come after the roof plan. I purposely did not put it, it's not serial. The reason was so that. If you can see this place this is section AA for it to indicate here the name has to carry it like if I want to rename it now this is where if you want the section to be AA this is where A has to appear and that is why I did it like this but if you see the panel is still carrying the appropriate number, the sheet number, so it is okay. After you have printed it, you can rearrange it. So that is how we do it. So that on your floor plan, you can have it as section AA or BB as the case may be. You can see this is section AA. This is BB. Now, if you want to convert it to PDF, you just hit Ctrl P, which is print. And I'm sure before then, you must have installed Adobe PDF in your system. So, you make sure that this combined multiple is selected so that your drawing will be in one document it will not be in pieces then make sure this is selected views slash sheet is selected also and you click click on this setup I want to print it in landscape and make sure I want to print it in X-ray, select your paper, the paper size, select this so that the drawing will be at the center of the page. Um, make sure this zoom to 90% is selected so that you have a little margin at the you have a little margin at the edges of the paper. And um, it's Going to be in color if you want to select color make sure it's in color black and white you select black lines in grayscale you select grayscale then the quality of the printing this is where you control it high is okay for me okay after you have done that you have to save your setting you can see save is not highlighted here because I have already saved it before as you can see this is Adobe PDF default 4 
I've said it before. That is why it's not highlighted. Otherwise, here should be active. Then you hit on save to save it. After you've done that, you click OK. Then click select. This is where you select your sheets. Now you can select none so that we start afresh. I want to select sheets so I don't need these views. Then I want to print cover page, site layout, first floor, select all, all those ones we want to print. Then after I've done that, you can save it as Yes, I want to save it as printed copy. Hit OK. Hit OK again. You hit OK. Now this is I want to select the folder I want to save it in now. I go to the folder I have label as tutorial then I'm going to save it as tutorial one two four click save it's converting it to PDF now let's wait for a while okay it's done let's check it out here as you can see this is our PDF file already now this is easy to send on WhatsApp by email ad email address. You can also print it in any computer. Very easy, very simple. In the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to combine different PDF files into one document. If you like my tutorial, hit on like. And ring the bell, subscribe to my channel so that whenever I upload the next tutorial, you will receive it easily. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.